I heard a lot of people say, triple down on this, triple down on most of your strength. Yeah. No, 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 no. That works for a lot of things, but when you're afraid and you don't have the courage, mm -hmm. you have to triple down on your weaknesses. As long as you allow your personal weaknesses to hold you back, they're going to. At 13 years old, you know, I played the longer game because my game wasn't about being better than you at 13. It was to be better than you when you know, the chips are really on, on the line. Rise and shine, it's espresso time. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael. I'm a little sick, but this channel was created to help you overcome the number one challenge that is holding you back a lack of belief in yourself. You watch these videos because you know there's something more inside you too. You have Michael Jordan level talent at something. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message from David Goggins. Also, if you wanna have more confidence, check out my 254 series, they're free. The links to join are in the description below. You will never learn from people if we always tap dance around the truth. Everything I yeah. didn't wanna do is what got me to where I'm at today. It's about what you're saying to yourself, but it also comes with work. So whenever I was getting beat down, physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever I was going through, just saying, you know, I would put, you know, you can't hurt me. And you look in the mirror and say, wow, I eat a little too much. No, fat. My exoskeleton is larger than yours. Right, no. <laughs> that's the new one, right? Yeah, that's, the, I mean, you, <laughs> you cannot say that to yourself. No. But see, you have to make a list yeah. of the things that you don't like to do. Mm -hmm. This list should be very long. Like, if you don't like making calls, yeah. yep. the very first thing you should do is start making a ton of calls. Yep. Because why? That begins to own you. Yes. You start to drive yourself this way versus this way. Yes. It, but you'll figure out, if you start making a whole bunch of calls, if you like calling, call a lot. Yeah. Guess what happens? You get over it. You get over it. So what we do a lot is, I heard a lot of people say, triple down on this, triple down on most of your strength. Yeah. No, 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 no. That works for a lot of things, but when you're afraid and you don't have the courage, mm -hmm. you have to triple down on your weaknesses yeah. and make that become where you start to guide yourself. Okay, I don't like calling, today I'm making 100 calls. Yeah. I'm gonna dial 100 times. As long as you allow your personal weaknesses to hold you back, they're going to. As an entrepreneur, I wanna see you turn those weaknesses, those weaknesses into strengths and help you move your business forward. Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael, your friend in all things entrepreneurship. And today I'm answering a question from a young entrepreneur named Raphael, who's from New Jersey. He wants to start a software company and he says people don't wanna help him because he's only 16, he's too young. Raphael, congrats on to start this business. As long as you feel that 16 is too young, that's gonna hold you back. It's gonna limit your success. I had my first software company when I was 19, so I kinda of know what you're going through. I was selling the guys two, three times my age, and it scared me. I didn't wanna do it at first, because I thought, these guys have a lot more experience, they have a lot more knowledge, they know things that I don't know, and I'm gonna look like an idiot calling on these guys. But I did it and I realized that those are just assumptions in my head, that they weren't true. People wanna help people. You can use the fact that you're 16 to your advantage. Two ways, one, mentorship. People love helping young entrepreneurs. It's a lot easier to get help as a young entrepreneur than as somebody who's older. So use that to your advantage. Call on entrepreneurs who you respect. Ask them for their help. Say you're a young, ambitious entrepreneur. You're trying to get this business started. I'd love to pick your brain for some ideas. If you show that you are really passionate about it, they're gonna say yes. They're gonna meet with you. The other way to use it is not to feel that 16 is holding you back, but 16 is your strength because you know what's coming up. You're up to date with the technology. You're the next wave. People should be hiring you because you're 16. Companies who are out of date with technology, looking for the next thing, they should be looking at you. And that's how you should be presenting yourself. Use the fact that you're young to your advantage and don't let it hold you back. You wanna start a software company. I don't know how much you know about software, 
But as long as you are providing a lot of value to your customers and you're pouring your heart into it, you're gonna make a lot of money. For those of you who are watching, Raphael's problem is the limiting person belief around age, but it applies to everything. We let our limiting person beliefs hold us back. Some people is age, I'm too young or I'm too old. Some people is education, I never went to university. Some people's experience, whatever it is, it's just in your head and you can use it to your advantage to get customers. And that's part of being a successful entrepreneur. You gotta turn your weaknesses into your strengths as a way to grow your business. It's just shifting a mindset. I hope you'll apply it to your business. Thank you to everybody for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up below. It makes me wanna do more for you. And if you have a comment, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Thank you and I'll see you soon. At 13 years old, and I played the longer game because my game wasn't about being better than you at 13. It was to be better than you when, you know, the chips are really on, on the line. So when we played at 13, I would size you up and see what your strengths and weaknesses are. How do you approach the game? Are you silly about it? Are you goofy about it? Are you good at it just because you're bigger and stronger than everybody else? Right? Or is there actually thought and skill that you put into it? Right? And when I'd play, I'd play to my weaknesses. I wouldn't play to my strengths, I played to my weaknesses. Because when you're playing summer basketball, there's so many games. So there's not a lot of skill work being done. So when are you gonna get better, right? When you're playing in competition situations, you're only playing to your strengths, why? Because you wanna win, right? So what I would do, I was work on the things during those games that I was weak at. Left hand, pull up jump shot, uh, post game, right? So I have a strategy. And so then fast forward to when I'm 17, and my game is completely well-rounded, and that player at 13 that I saw at 13 is still doing the same at 17, mm -hmm. now you got a problem. If you want another awesome video in our Black Excellence series, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.